Hello, hello guys. We are back with our final bad ending in the other section. And I'm at least glad that it's in Adage's route <laughs> that we're doing this. <laughs> I'll take whatever comfort I can from Adage before inevitably running into Finn again. So, all right, this is the big choice where we're going to either talk to him about having met Finn, which we did for the good ending, or in this case, not talking about having met Finn for this bad ending. So we have this and one other choice, and then we'll see what happens. I'm still confused. I don't think I can explain it well. Seeing him there in the alley had been so shocking, I didn't know how to talk about it. Yeah, I'm like, I think this is when she saw him killing someone in the alley, and she was like, yike! No, don't worry about me. Let's go to the dinner. But... I'm fine. I'll talk to you about it after the dinner. Let's go, Adage. There won't be a time after the dinner. All right. Maybe he won't give us the gun. I think we're about to go seek Lassad, aren't we? Maybe the gun scared Finn off. <gasps> Wouldn't that be a twist? No, he still gives me the gun. Okay. <laughs> this is the last choice. We have to say thank you. Okay, so we're gonna see... Where were we status-wise with you? Very high. Okay. And we were going to go back to talk to Glissade, apparently. If we leave now, we lose this chance. We could still turn around. Adage. He was walking away when I called out to him. Yeah. I want you to go and talk to Glissade. Talk to him? Yes. Go and talk to him. Tell him you're his son. Once we walk away from here, we lose this chance. Perhaps forever. I can't accept that. Well, it doesn't really matter whether you accept this or not, because this is my- Yeah, it's your personal problem. That's why you'll go alone. I will wait for you here. Oh good! This is better! Yeah, send him to go talk alone to his crazy dad while you get kidnapped by Finn and then he'll be completely lost without you. That's a great plan. Go and talk to him. Explain everything to him. Hmm. You too might be estranged, but you're still a father and a son. You can talk it out. I hope so. Hmm. Adage sighed, mumbling in acceptance. This'll be my last attempt. If it doesn't work out, I'm going to give up on him. All right. All right. If that's your decision. Okay. See you later. Adage turned and walked back in my direction. Cyrus really is very good for him. On his way past me, he put his hand on my shoulder. Then he walked back towards their headquarters. Bye, Adage, I'll miss you. Eventually, he was gone. Adage. I looked at the building, praying everything would work out. It did not. What's taking Adage so long? There was no clock to check, so I didn't know how much time had passed. But I guess it must have been at least an hour. That's bad news bears. If their conversation is going really well, then this is good, but... The building was intimidating, and I worried that something had happened. Mm -hmm. I heard something behind me that gave me pause. This isn't good. Metal on metal, a sword belt. A man from the Hounds was coming. I moved out of the way so I wouldn't block his path. Our eyes met. <laughs> oh. Finn had been the source of the sounds. He was carrying something round. His crimson uniform was spattered with blood. Cyrus. His eyes were dark and lifeless. His voice was even and without emphasis. Nothing like the Finn I knew. It dawned on me that he was no longer the Finn I'd known. 
He'd become something else. I'm sorry about what happened. I didn't want you to see. He began to approach me. As he came nearer, I could make out more details. The thing in his hands was a human head. I can't accept it. Finn, s stay away. Bah. If he approaches me, I'll have to accept that it's really Finn. Girl. It's not Finn, I told myself. It's just a monster killing humans. <laughs> Cyrus! Wait, Cyrus! Did she run away? Wow. She's like, he's carrying a human head. I gotta get out of here. <sighs> I ran away from the headquarters as fast as I could, away from the main road and into the back alleys. I turned randomly at the intersections, but I could still hear his footsteps behind me. Oh, great. The sound of footsteps and heavy breathing echoed off the walls. I couldn't tell who was breathing so loudly. Probably both of us. The hound from the hounds pursued me relentlessly. Where do I have to run to shake him off? To Adage's house? No, I told him about that. Ah! I tripped over something and fell. Ugh, damn it! I cursed myself for not looking at the ground and stood up, pushing myself up. <laughs> my hand touched something soft and shivers went down my spine. I tripped over this. Did you trip over the body that he beheaded? What are the chances of that? It was the leg of the body Finn dismembered earlier. Finally. I've caught up. <laughs> I told you to wait. Why are you running away, Cyrus? I, uh... He approached me unsteadily, swaying like a candle flame. The hound was coming. Oh, yep. You're, you're, you're not wrong about that. Nope. I wanted to see you. For so long. I'm not lying. I was always thinking about you. That's why I'm still here. Why I'm alive. I had to kill for it. Finn smiled awkwardly and reached for his waist. He's going to kill me. Right! I remembered the gun and pulled it out. Oh, so that's what the gun was for. Interesting. I'm like, why did we even have the gun to begin with? It's for the specific ending. <laughs> quick, quick! I released the safety and pulled the trigger. He was just going to return your necklace to you this time. <laughs> ah! I, I did it. Right? Finn was pressing a hand to his chest and went down on the ground. Blood ran through his gloved fingers and dropped onto the ground. I did it. I dropped the gun, weak with relief at having evaded danger. I decided I had to run away and try to get up. Finn removed his hand from his chest. Wait. Finn reached for his waist again. I thought he would try to draw his sword, but he was too weak to attack me. Checking my routes of escape, I watched him. Here. For you. I... That's... The Tistella Pendant. Finn nodded a few times. His face was contorted with pain. I wanted to... give this to you. So I ran after you. But... No. I thought you were trying to kill me. Never. I would never harm you. I... Ah! <coughs> Finn coughed up a large amount of blood. Finn! Finn, hang in there! Aw. We switched places from the first bad ending to now. <laughs> Although, for what happened in the last one, you kind of deserve to be shot this time, sir. <laughs> I ran over to him and embraced him. Oh. It's you. 
You are so close. Finally. I'm sorry. I made a stupid decision. <laughs> Having no fear of me when I look like this would be strange. Look at the blood on me. I stink of death. I can't wash it off. It won't go away. I have to stop the bleeding! Wait. Don't go. Please. Finn gripped me by the clothes, fearing I would leave. I've always... wanted to tell you something. I... Finn? Hey, Finn! What's wrong? Talk to me, Finn! Finish what you were saying! Finn? What were you going to say, Finn? This way! We heard a gunshot. Did you kill a man from the hounds? Yes, I did. I killed him. I... killed Finn. Harming the hounds is a grave crime. You will be executed immediately. Die, and apologize to him in the afterlife. I felt an impact on my back, and then... pain. I heard my own flesh being ripped and my bones smashed apart. Pain filled my entire body. Uh. I vomited blood and it spattered on Finn's face. Sorry, Finn. Droplets ran down his cheeks and forehead. I'm sorry, Finn. I had killed him in a moment of folly. Now what he had wanted to say was lost forever. Wait for me, Finn. I will be there soon. Tell me what you wanted to say. Wow, that really was like basically a mirror ending of the first bad ending that we did with him. <laughs> Except we couldn't, uh, avenge him since we were the one to actually kill him this time. Oh. Okay. So it's really only the second one that was really, really rough. The other... I mean, he was on the verge of trying to do that in the first one, to be fair. But first and third one, I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm actually glad that was the one that we ended this with. And not the second one that I did. <laughs> because at least Finn was just like, I was just wanting to return your necklace to you, that's all. <laughs> this time. This time that's all I was trying to do. I'm amazed that the hounds actually executed her right then and there. And, uh... That they didn't take her to Soxon, since... I, I would, well, I mean, I'm assuming a lot by thinking they know Soxon's obsession with her, but they probably haven't seen her for a little while since she's been with Antashe, so maybe that's not the case. I am curious, maybe Glissade was able to overpower Adage. Glissade is super strong, like, scary strong. He might have overpowered Adage slash drugged him, and then t took his eyeballs out for Priscilla. <laughs> like he wanted to do for a long time. Possibly. is gonna be so upset at Spaghetti when he finds out that uh, the hounds just killed her. <laughs> oh no, he's like, crap. Now I gotta wait again for someone like that. Blah. Oh boy. Oh, I don't really care if Glissad is upset. He can go burn in his lab fire forever. Uh, okay. Well, I would assume there is no epilogue to this unless it's somehow Adage survived and he we're seeing something from his perspective where he's like, oh crap, I lost Cyrus. Uh, we'll see. But that was relatively painless, all in all. All things considered. Very impressed that each one of those bad endings had a actual CG. I think that only leaves us two for the grand end, which I'm sad. I'm a little bit sad about. I'd like more for the grand ending, but what can you do? 
All right, game. What you doing? It's quiet. Okay. That makes sense. I'm okay with not seeing the Dajay's reaction to that. That's fine with me. What was that ending called? 96%? Woo! Property returned. Nice. He did return it at the end. It's funny how those two just keep dying in each other's arms. <laughs> Alright, let's just double check the other. Yeah, okay. So we've got two more after this for the grand end. Good, good, good. Well, guys, that is it. We've made it through all of those bad endings. <laughs> Yay, we did it! <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me for all of that. And now we can take a break from Steam Prison once more and go back to our final route in Changeling. So that should be exciting. We got one fairy boy who's been hidden for a long time. He just hides himself away on the lawn, eating his lunch in peace. But this time we're going to go bug him. So hopefully that should be a lot of fun. And hopefully I will see you there for that as well, guys. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, I will see you later.